Listen, if anybody's living in here, you need to show us. What the f is this? The door just closed. Yeah. What the f bro? Is that is legit. Okay. Holy f Why is that here? <laughs> Tanner and I discovered an abandoned hospital on the edge of a ghost town which was left for a hundred years to rot. Apparently there was so much death in this building they had their own cremator set up outside in a shed. Our only way in was during the middle of the night through a window which was left cracked open. What we uncovered within these walls is absolutely terrifying, insane, and shocking to say the least. single local that we spoke to swears that that place is haunted. People say they hear metal clanking from in there, but nobody's there. They've heard screaming coming from within the building. We definitely had to check this place out. Okay, the Yeah. What the f this is a completely abandoned joint, bro. Yeah. There's a bed in here. It's like a big f***ing queen size bed, too. Here, pull out the... Uh, Hello. Dude, like... Paranormal or not, it's a trip. Just by itself. Yeah. 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 Pull up. Do you want to pull up the... Uh, you got the detector? Listen, if anybody's living in here... Uh, you need to show us. Don't startle us. That won't be good for you. All right, not here for any trouble, but if you're in here, we just want to know. I'm legitimately freaking out. Yeah. Going down the first hallway of the hospital, once you made entry, just on edge. Still we're on the same page. Yeah, we're on the same page. 500%. Like I could just fall over and die. <laughs> like I was just like, F this. There's tons of cots in here, so I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if some, oh dude, there's a walker in here and stuff. It's definitely this. This place, you could tell it was old as shit. It looked like it hadn't been touched by anybody for years. Here you go. Like, I don't even know find that door. What is that? It's a shoehorn. Let's just, a let's just say it's a shoehorn. Hello, hello, hello. What's your storage closet? Okay. What is that thing? Oh, that's some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Said it before, I'm gonna say it again. If there's anybody in here, just let us know. Don't startle us. What the f okay, is this? Look at the f dude. Check over here. Are 
Are you f- serious? What is this? No. There was old bottles. There's a bottle of aspirin that was probably 60, 70 years old. Look at this. This IV. Bro, what is this? That's heaven. The f***ing aspirin. No. Okay, okay. The door just closed. Yeah. What the f***, bro? F***ing aspirin. No. Okay, okay. The door just closed. Yeah. What the f***, bro? Here, look. Look over here. Yeah. Yeah, these are, this is aspirin. Look at this shit. So it's like mouthwash. Surgical supply center. Milk of magnesia. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> An IV just hanging out. What's that? What is ke keopacitate? I don't know. What is this? Steroids? No. <laughs> Look, it's like a little. No, no, no. No? Yeah, water. What was that? Yo? No, no, no. No? Yeah, water. What was that? Yo? That was legitimately my stomach. But that was your heart? Yeah, heart. yeah. I thought someone got dragged upstairs. Dextrose. Yeah. Okay, now what's this? Okay, yeah. It's just a bunch of copies of it. Wanna keep it moving? Yes, I definitely do. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Yo, yo, no, come here real quick, right now. Was that there? It was not there. I have. That no was not clue. there. I swear to God. Wait, no. Can you just keep going. I honestly want to get. Out of here. No, 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 dude. I promise you. I can promise you. I know for a fact that Walker was in the room next to the bed. It was 150% in this room. Right here, dude. Did I put it right in? here? All the way beside. It was right there when we came in. Okay. <laughs> well, I gotta take your word for it. When I first saw the walker in the hallway, I didn't think anything of it, even though Casey was saying he thought it had moved because I didn't see its original location. But once we actually went through the footage. Oh, dude, there's a walker in here and stuff. It was in the hallway when we came out. Explain that. Oh my God. Okay, here's yo, check out this yo, no, come here real quick, right now. Was that there? It was not there. I have no That was clue. not there, I swear to God. Yeah. We were rolling the whole time. What the I'll just make Okay. <laughs> I was like, this is Dr. Kevorkian's room, bro. Oh, man. Yo, Tanner. What is this, shit, bro? What's this thing? Mystery box. <laughs> yeah, real life. I wanna pull it off. I was gonna say, is this, is this me? Yeah. There's nothing. Okay. Cool. Cool. There's a bathtub over here, which is creepy as f and there's two cracked doors right here. I'll check door number one. Nothing in door number one. That bathtub freaks me the f out. Like just having a fing bathtub in the middle of nowhere. Anybody hiding in the shower? <laughs> Please say no. Please say no. You want to make our way upstairs? Yeah, let's go. Yo, how's that glow stick working right now? Are they working? 
Oh, they are working, but not enough. Not enough to like actually uh, see with the cameras. Yeah, you can't see anything really in the rooms though. What the? F is that a mid door? It is. I don't remember. I don't like small doors. Oh, ever since then. Yeah. yeah. It's like a utility chase. Yeah. Yeah. Are right, we going up? Yeah. Oh, this is it, huh? Oh, dear. This is it. Yeah, me too. Definitely. If there's anybody up here. Oh, oh that felt weird. Okay, be careful with the uh, door there. Oh, this is like ground level. Right here. Look. That's towards weird. The back. Oh yeah, towards the back, towards the front. This one is steep again. What's this? Handwritten 1956. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at right there. Oh, yeah. Thursday, July 19th, 1956. Wow. It's crazy that there's just medical records with patient information, vital signs dated in the 50s just left there. Like, they just up and left. It's people's like, medications and shit. Yo, that's fucking crazy. Look at patients' names. This is their vital signs. Oh, that's that's their room nuts, number. bro. What's that? <sighs> At this point, it's an old building. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's crazy. Just a bunch of patients, like, fucking families and this shit. Oxygen tanks. What the fuck is this? I don't really know what this You know what that is? Don't even go close to that, bro. Oh. Come back from that. That's like a, um, that's like a, what do you call it? Like, isolation chamber when someone's got oh. something really nasty. Like, they pump oxygen in there so you can't even catch what they got. I don't want to be no part of that, bro. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go to the yeah, next let's get out of this room. Actually. Yeah. Man. Look at right? Yeah, look at the imprints on this yeah. bed. Yeah, look at that pulley's like, you can suspend their limbs from there and stuff. Yeah. We got the uh, we got the spirit box, right? Yeah. All right. Nothing with the EMF detector yet. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I, that beep earlier is because I uh, held it right next to my phone. Dude, is that what I? Are think you is serious? Oh, it, it is. is. No. Dude, that oh, is legit. That is legit. Okay. Holy! F right where I was standing, there was smears of of blood. There's a trail of blood in here, bro. That's footprints. Is it really? Two footprints, clear as day right there. Where? Look at their toes. I don't want to step on it. These are their toes. It looks like hands to me, bro. Looks like someone's getting dragged, too. Look, that's not like someone walking. That's someone getting dragged, bro. There was a trail going through the whole hallway upstairs, and it looked like someone had been dragged. That's someone getting dragged. And then there's, look, there's shoe prints too. This is like a fucking scuffle and someone getting dragged. Yeah. And we're heading right towards where, where it was getting dragged. 
And there's dirt right there. What the f dude? I don't know, man. What the f I don't know, man. Uh, Watch Dude. Bro, I can't believe we're actually following okay. bloody well, footprints right now. I think I pull up here. Okay, it just looks like a piece of ceiling fell. Yeah. Okay, somebody could be living up there. <laughs> or something. Goddamn. Oh, what? That's heavy. What is that? That's blood. No, what is that? That device? I don't know. But that's heavy puddles. That's not like a footprint. What the f***, dude? They didn't clean any of Dude, there's like half of the fucking body trained up underneath this thing. The amount of blood on the floor is not a little, it's not splatter, it's like pools in different places. It's like an entire human's worth. My senses were already through the roof. I mean, I have never been to a crime scene before. This is probably the closest thing I've ever seen to a crime scene. Things are. It's like peeling off the ground. Dude. Yeah. Like, what is this? What kind of can people operate and just leave blood every look at dude, look right there. Look at it was like just running off the table all over the ground right here. Just like dripping everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Is there someone in there? Look at this. There's blood everywhere, bro. Look at the fucking table. Yeah, it's like, uh, that's like, what do you call it? Uh, Hold the arms? Yeah, yeah, restraints. But like, what are, why are you holding away? I don't, oh, what the f***, bro? It's pitch black in there. This place has been abandoned for years and years. And then I turn and I see a doll sitting on the counter with its head next to its body, just the torso. It's weird. It's f***ing creepy and it's weird. Come on now. What's the purpose of that? Why? Why? Why is that here? We had every intent of doing EMF sweeps and spirit box to try to pick up on the energy in there and we just, we didn't have time. We wanted to leave, wanted to get out. Leaving that hospital, I had an uncomfortable knot in my stomach the rest of the night. I truly felt like we had just stumbled across a scene or something. When we traveled there and booked in the hotel, the last thing I really expected was to find a a spooky haunted hospital next door, but really the last thing I ever expected was to find one with that much unexplained stuff going on with the blood and the instruments and the way it was set up. It's just nothing could prepare us for what we saw that night. Yeah, truth be told, we just wanted to get the fuck out of there, honestly. That's, that's the honest answer. To all my viewers that are wondering like, well, why didn't you guys try to communicate further? Um, because it was like a scene and we wanted to go home, that's why. I'm a fan of everything paranormal. I was a fan of Casey's before this. I could see from a viewer's perspective, you'd be like, oh, that's staged. And I agree, like, that's how I would view it, watching it. I was so mind Like I could not, it couldn't even process what we had seen and what we went through. Is that coming from out in the f***ing graveyard? This is some weird stuff right here. Oh, what the 